So let's let's look at something a little more uh, advanced, something more advanced. Uh, this is Silent One. This is basically the workhorse of the industry. Um, it's kind of been the standard of uh, virtual analog VSTs uh, for some time now. Uh, you know how in the the synth maker uh, tutorial previous to this one. Uh, we were building modules. What you have to look at is look at everything like a module. So we have two parts to the synth, part A and part B. But we'll just be focusing on the, the one part, uh, oscillator A and oscillator A1 and A2. Think of these as uh, the modules that we built of the, the oscillator uh, going into the amp envelope, right? And then from the amp envelope to the filter. Uh, and then to the other filter. So this, it's a two-part filter, and you can mix and match them. And then here would be our ADSR. Uh, but this ADSR, you you can basically route it to anything. Uh, your volume, your cutoff, your pitch, and your phase. Uh, and your you can even route it to the distortion amount. So it's a little it's a little more advanced. Um, uh, so what you're going to want to do is you should want to once you have it all installed and ready to go, you're going to want to initial preset and then see this it sounds very familiar I keep on pressing play sorry so uh, what we're gonna want to do is I want to go through so you basically have your your pitch it goes up per octave and you have different little different you have your note it goes up per note which is another added Kind of feature, same fine tune between um, uh, a semitone. So you double click, it resets it. Uh, volume, we know that one. Phase means that um, phase it'll start at a separate point in the saw wave. It'll start on a separate site on a different cycle. It won't be like starting absolutely. You move it over, and that can be useful if you stack. Uh, two saws up. You kind of like adjust. You adjust the phase. Um, uh, detune. You can select uh, your voices. You can stack up to eight, and you have uh, eight saws stacked up. Kind of gets louder, but then you can detune it like this. I just kind of made this famous because it's anti-alias. Um, your stereo, you can collapse to mono. And pan left and right. Uh, your re-trigger, if you... You notice that it starts at the exact same time. Every time you press a key, it re-triggers. Uh, from the start of the, the waveform, or wherever you have it set to. You turn that off. The oscillators, think of the oscillators as they're constantly playing now, and when you press the key, it just opens up the volume. You're going to want to turn the trigger off if you're uh, trying to create uh, some sort of pads. So, kind of do that. Uh, detune doesn't work if you have one, uh, one oscillator voice going on, because there's nothing to, to uh, detune it. So, we'll kind of make something interesting. ADSR works uh, basically the same as the last one. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty exciting. Uh, so you basically know what this top part, the the top uh, three modules do, the first and second oscillator. This goes into the filter. Now this filter is basically analog model. So you take this guy. And uh, the input is from filter A, and uh, each one, each part has its own separate filter, and it goes into its master filter. So filter A and filter B. So you want this just to hang around with filter filter A. But this is this is analog model, so you have your drive of your filter. I'm taking it's when this is what people do on the. Mook Voyager, they'll take the output of the mic and they'll 
run it into the input so they'll be overdriving the signal uh, which uh, it's a, a lot of people do it that have you know voyagers I wish I had one but um, that's what it does you take this basically taking the output before the filter and then jamming it back in at a higher volume to kind of drive it and to add some harmonics what you hear the fuzziness harmonics those are it's all harmonics there but we'll just have this and, and this resonance sounds very clean I like to add a little bit of resonance and uh, so this right here this is the, the master filter we can call it that both filters go into. So what we'll do now, I want to add a second part to the synthesizer. So I go to B and uh, it's basically two parts with two separate filters. This module, this module, this module, this module. It's completely separate from part A. You part B and they both go into the main filter control if you're keeping track. So what I want to do is I want to add a bit of band pass. I will solo this Add a voice. And I'll just detune. Kind of do the same thing. There's a nice warm overtone for the drive. It's used a lot. So now I have two parts, two separate parts, uh, two separate filters uh, going into the main filter here. So basically, select warm drive. Um, basically, what I want to do now is I want to attach an ADSR to the cutoff of the first part. And I'll do that. And then I have to move that down. Oops, sorry. Uh, so the the filter is being um, the ADSR is going into this filter. Uh, it'll going into the filter A, the cutoff A of the first filter. So what I'll do now is I'll just play both synths again. And I'll kind of do the same thing. kind of an interesting um, texture. Uh, what I'll do now is adjust the phase of A and B. Kind of Phase uh, is it's altering the the first part or the the phase of uh, all the oscillators and kind of uh, making them start off unaligned and then aligning uh, then aligning them. That kind of emulates oscillator drift, which a lot of the old synthesizers have done. Another thing we'll do is these this cable. Uh, the LFO is uh, it's basically a low frequency oscillator, not um, not say like a saw, which is very a high frequency um, between 20 hertz and uh, 20 kilohertz. Uh, in terms of its cycle, we have an LFO that I want to attach to the pitch just to add a bit of you know interestingness. So it's basically a very slow oscillator. That doesn't make any sound, but it kind of affects uh, whatever you kind of attach to it down here. So that's that's the rate. I want to use a 
kind of sparingly, and then uh, I guess I'll attach, I'll adjust the, the the resolution of the filters. Okay, so basically we have our patch built. Uh, we'll open the filter slightly. Now we have in the center here, we have our effects section of uh, Silent One, uh, our arpeggiator. You basically know what that does. We'll get into that later. So we have a, a distortion kind of um, area here and what that does is that adds uh, harmonics and using different algorithms um, I prefer uh, overdrive or decimate decimate for bass lines usually but sparingly add some nice overtones phaser repeats repeats it and then uh, Move the alignment back and forth. The chorus, uh, popular of the old Juno synthesizers. We'll use a bit of that just for fun. The EQ, sub-explanatory. Uh, just turning it on it makes it sound good. Why well, it's in treble. Um, the delay. We we'll use the bit of delay. Vibrates, I like it. All right. So we'll add some reverb as well. down a bit. Sounds quite interesting. We'll compress the, the output just a little bit. Sounds pretty interesting to me. Um, because it's using all the all the modules. What we'll do now, I'll show you uh, using just a simple kind of detuned. I'm just putting a, a warm filter over it. amounts of reverb and delay. Alright, open that up. Can't play the keyboard at all. But uh, yeah, that's just using uh, an oscillator uh, with eight voices detuned and the filter. And you know a bunch of processing. Um, what we can do is we can just change to square. And, 
uh, yeah, that's some slightly advanced synthesis. Uh, and uh, next up, we'll take a look at something else. A little surprise. Take care.